Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today, the top 10 celebrities who are definitely smarter than us. In most cases, once someone becomes a celebrity, their past endeavors and successes become rather irrelevant. They just become a celebrity and are known for the roles that they play within the entertainment industry. It turns out many celebrities were intelligent enough to have chosen other career paths or transitioned to acting after already having successful careers. In the video today, we're looking at 10 celebrities celebrities who are most definitely smarter than us. Number 10. Ken Zheng Famous for his role as Ben Chang on the hit show Community and his infamous guest appearance in The Hangover, Zheng has made a name for himself as a comedic actor. But his path into the industry wasn't a traditional one. As he was finishing his internal medicine residency, Zheng was developing his stand-up comedy. It was difficult for Zheng to decide to quit his job as a physician and pursue acting full-time, but he credits his wife, also a physician, for giving him the courage to make the move. Zheng's big break was his role in Knocked Up, as coincidentally enough, a doctor. Zheng's known for his impressive improvisational ability and has showcased these talents in his appearances in Pineapple Express, Role Models, All About Steve, The Goods, Live Hard, Sell Hard, and Couples Retreat, among many others. Number 9. Dolph Lundgren Known as Ivan Drago, who fought Rocky Balboa in the fourth installment of the Rocky franchise, many are unaware that Dolph Lundgren's career in the entertainment industry was that of chance, and that he has just as much brains as he is brawn. Lundgren graduated with a degree in chemical engineering in Sweden and earned a master's degree from the University of Sydney, finishing at the top of his class. Working as a bouncer, he won a Fulbright scholarship to attend MIT, but rejected it after being hired as model Grace Jones's bodyguard. Soon after moving to New York with Jones, Lundgren got his break in a small role as a KGB henchman in the Bond movie of You to Kill. He would go on to appear in more than 40 action films, and more recently has starred in the blockbuster franchise The Expendables. He's also going to be appearing in the upcoming movie Creed II. Number 8. Natalie Portman Although Natalie Portman starred in the film Leon the Professional at the young age of 13, she did not follow the steps of most other child actors. Portman continued her studies and, while in high school, authored a paper that would be entered into the Intel Science Talent Search. Portman was accepted into and enrolled at Harvard University, where she majored in psychology. In 2002, she contributed to a study called Frontal Lobe Activation During Object Permanence, data from near-infrared spectroscopy. Portman has also demonstrated an affinity for language. She's fluent in Hebrew and has studied French, Japanese, German, and Arabic. Her scholastic accomplishments eventually made way for her acting career, and it's safe to say that Portman made the right choice. She starred in the Star Wars prequel trilogy and more recently as Jackie Kennedy in the biographical drama Jackie. Portman has starred in both box office hits and critically acclaimed films, earning several Academy Award nominations and winning an Oscar for her work in the film Black Swan. Number 7. Mayim Bialik Like Ken Jeong, Mayim Bialik enjoyed a successful career before she returned to acting after becoming a young star on the show Blossom. Bialik earned a bachelor's degree in neuroscience with minors in Hebrew and Jewish studies, continuing her studies until she earned a PhD in neuroscience from UCLA in 2007. Her eventual starring role on The Big Bang Theory might have been just the part for someone whose dissertation title was Hypothalamic Regulation in Relation to Maladaptive, Obsessive Compulsive, Affiliative, and Satiatory Behaviors in Prader Willi Syndrome. Bialik's acting career wasn't something that occurred out of thin air. She had landed roles as a child actress, including TV appearances in The Facts of Life and Beauty and the Beast. As an adult, Bialik struggled to get roles and worked as a voiceover actress for several cartoon network shows before being cast on screen. Bialik made appearances on Curb Your Enthusiasm before finally landing the role of Dr. Amy Farrah Fowler in the season 3 finale of The Big Bang Theory. Number 6. Jerry Springer one of the most surprising career turns on our list goes to Jerry Springer. Although he's now solely known for his salacious television show, Springer was, at one point, a highly respected lawyer with a promising political career. After graduating from law school, Springer met Bobby Kennedy and began working on his campaign for president. Only three months after he began on the campaign, Kennedy was assassinated. Springer believed that he had to continue to fight for the causes that Kennedy believed in and began a life of public service. He spearheaded a movement to lower the voting age from 21 to 18 in Ohio and went on to serve on the Cincinnati City Council for five terms before becoming mayor at the young age of 33. Springer would serve two terms as mayor before an unsuccessful run for governor. 
Television networks courted Springer after his defeat, and he was hired as the anchor and managing editor for Cincinnati NBC affiliate WLWT. After Springer's hiring, the broadcast vaulted to first place in the news rankings, with Springer going on to win seven Emmys. He was voted television's best anchor for five consecutive years by Cincinnati Magazine. As a result of his tremendous success as an anchor, he was rewarded with a television show. What began as a serious, politically charged show eventually devolved into a show known for brawls and debauchery. Number 5. Conan O'Brien While it's arguable whether he's the funniest, Conan O'Brien is certainly the smartest man in late night. O'Brien graduated as the valedictorian of his high school class before enrolling at Harvard. While attending the most prestigious university in the country, O'Brien was a writer for the Harvard Lampoon, serving as its president for two years and majoring in history and literature. Coincidentally for Conan, Jeff Zucker, his future boss at NBC, was serving as president for the school's newspaper, the Harvard Crimson, at the time. After graduating, Conan joined the writing staff of HBO's Not Necessarily the News. One of the difficulties that Conan faced was the lack of success of the shows that he worked on. He wrote for the short-lived The Wilton North Report and later wrote the pilot for Look Well, which was never picked up. However, Conan did find success. He was hired by Saturday Night Live's Lorne Michaels as a writer, where he worked for three years. After the rejection of Lockwell, Conan decided to leave SNL and decided to move to New York. He had no plans, and looking back, depicts that period as one of the most trying in his career. Soon after moving to New York, he was hired to write for The Simpsons, which he credits as saving him. The rest, as they say, is history. Conan's success on The Simpsons led to his position in Late Night. Number 4. Steve Martin It might come as a bit of a surprise how many comedians are actually quite brilliant, and Steve Martin is no exception. A true renaissance man, Martin is an accomplished banjo player, is credited for having invented air quotes, and is also a member of Mensa. He even penned a New Yorker article about his experience in the society. Martin has claimed an IQ of 142 and considered becoming a professor while studying at Cal State. But in retrospect, it seems like he probably made the right decision. Martin is famous for his numerous iconic roles, from The Jerk, Planes, Trains and Automobiles, and Three Amigos, to Father of the Bride. Steve Martin has certainly become one of the most beloved comic actors in the world. Number 3. Jodie Foster Another actress who started at an early age, Jodie Foster is also exceedingly brilliant. Foster graduated from Lycee Francis of Los Angeles in 1980 as valedictorian and went on to graduate magna cum laude from Yale with a BA in literature. Like Natalie Portman, Foster is gifted with languages and is fluent in French and conversational in both German and Italian. She's gone on to star in several iconic roles, most notably as Clary Starling in The Silence of the Lambs. Foster's intelligence has also served her well as she's transitioned to directing. She's directed episodes of House of Cards, Black Mirror, and Orange is the New Black. As a two-time Academy Award winner, the recipient of three BAFTA Awards, as well as three Golden Globes, Foster will surely go down as one of the best actors of her generation. Number 2. Rowan Atkinson Another funny man to make this video is Rowan Atkinson, known as the ridiculously stupid Mr. Bean. Atkinson was not always destined for comedy, though. He studied engineering at Newcastle University and went on to the prestigious Oxford University for his master's in science. While attending Oxford, he met director Richard Curtis, who encouraged Atkinson to pursue acting. They created the Mr. Bean character together, and Atkinson began following a path in the arts. He began in radio, starring in comedy shows for BBC Radio 3, and this success led to a television spot for Atkinson and Curtis. After several successful shows on BBC in 1990, the character Mr. Bean made his debut. The character was such a success that Atkinson gained an audience in the United States as well, prompting the filming of Johnny English, a spy comedy film that combined Mr. Bean's character with a general spoofing of James Bond. Number 1. Edward Norton Edward Norton has proved to be not exactly the easiest person to work with, and this is likely due to his own resounding belief in his own intelligence and vision. Norton graduated from Yale with a bachelor's degree in history in 1991. While attending Yale, he acted in productions alongside Ron Livingston and Paul Giamatti. After college, Norton moved to Osaka in Japan to work for his grandfather's consulting company. In order to be successful, Norton studied and became fluent in Japanese. Norton's breakthrough role was alongside Richard Gere in Primal Fear. His career would only ascend from there, culminating in his Oscar nomination for Best Actor in American History X. 
During the post-production process of American History X, Norton and his director feuded over the edit of the film, with the studio eventually siding with Norton. And the result of this, well, Norton was right, and the movie received great critical acclaim. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. And don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also, over there on the right, some other videos that you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And as always, thank you for watching.